Welcome back to the Bayou Breakdown and welcome to the first edition of 4th and Long. I'm Olivia Drotti. From arrests, QB debuts, and upsets all over the league, week one of the NFL proved to viewers and athletes that this season might not have been as predictable as fans may have anticipated. Starting with one of the biggest upsets of the day, Joe Burrow's, Joe Burrow's Cincinnati Bengals lost to the New England Patriots in their first game with new head coach Gerard Mayo. The Bengals, Mace, the Bengals seem to have all the right pieces this year, with players like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins who are capable of completing deep passes, which made it surprising that the Bengals only collected 154 yards. If the Bengals lose next week against Kansas City, it will be the third year they have started the season 0 for 2. Further south in New Orleans, the Saints had the opener of a lifetime, beating the Carolina Panthers 47 to 10. This game broke the record for the highest scoring Saints home opener and the first time the team was leading at 30 by the half since the Drew Brees era. Saints QB Derek Carr had three touchdowns and corrected, collected a grand total of 379 yards throughout the game. This offensive performance could not be stopped by Carolina and Bryce Young's offense was given nowhere to go when covered by the Saints defense. The Saints will have to prove that they can look that strong against any team and look to repeat Sunday's victory in Week 2 against the Dallas Cowboys. Wrapping up this week of 4th and Long, we have a game that got off to a bit of an unexpected start when Dolphins ride receiver Tyreek Hill was detained by police on his way into Hard Rock Stadium for reckless driving. Hill was released from custody and able to play in Sunday's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, even obtaining an 80-yard touchdown, which included a celebration of Hill being placed in handcuffs by a teammate. Miami defeated Jacksonville in a close 17-20 game and will play the Buffalo Bills for Week 2. The NFL is already proving to have lots of exciting twists and turns across all divisions, so stay with me because I'll be breaking down all the biggest plays, key players, and drama all season long. Stay with us because we will be back right after the break with a sneak peek at one Super Bowl contestant that won't take your fantasy rankings. That's all I have for now, but after the break, we will talk about the big announcement for this year's Super Bowl, so don't go anywhere.